Hey, good morning to you. It's 4 a.m. on this Tuesday, October the 26th. Here are today's top headlines. The LAPD and the LAUSD investigating an alleged incident at Hamilton High School involving several students in the boys' room. And more details about the deadly movie set shooting. What happened hours before actor Alec Baldwin fired that fatal shot? Flooded streets, mudslides reported following the first major storm of the season. Early edition of the KTLA 5 Morning News starting right now. Yeah, when you look at the weather charts, the mm -hmm. rainfall, like we see right here in this video right. that went away, uh, it was like the northern section of LA County, Santa Barbara County, San Luis, they got hammered. Right. Like five, six inches of rain, and then we got like half inch, inch, depending on where we are. Uh, Henry DiCarlo, did I do a good job, buddy? Yeah, you did an excellent job. It definitely was one of those where, uh, you know, some areas just got epic amount of rain for, you know, great storm. And others just kind of slow and steady, you know, so we had accumulation, but uh, not like others. But we're going to see an end to it. We're going to see some sunshine. We're going to see temperatures rebounding. Still falling about 10 degrees below the average, but we are clear. We are warmer through the San Fernando Valley, 72. And we will see temperatures get warmer, much warmer by the end of the week, in fact. After much needed rain yesterday, Ginger certainly caused some problems in some spots. But overall, uh, again, we needed the rain and we certainly got it. We'll send it over to you. And I feel like everyone was really prepared for it because you told them when, you know, it was kind of slow. So we had a chance to get ahead of that storm. I wish we had it again these next couple of days because it was wonderful. Like I said, great napping weather, just sitting outside with a book, whatever it is, or inside looking out the windows. For us now, we do have a lot of construction projects taking place. So. Let's take you first to look at the stretch of the 60 freeway. And you know, there are times when, you know, rain, they don't work, and you thought maybe that was going to be the case, or cold conditions, they ain't working here. That's right. 60 West, right at about the 605. So a couple of those lanes will stay closed. And then, of course, they'll have it all wrapped up about 5 o'clock. Moving you here, where, man, talk about some cold conditions. Weather was a factor, of course, for our friends traveling stretches of the 15. We'll see if there's any reduced visibility issues due to fog because we've seen that there's some areas where there was a little bit of fog but it was kind of moving so hopefully it won't be a factor for your drive at all you can see it then right is still really nice but maybe light dusting of um, snow perhaps for our friends in the higher elevation so we'll be watching that I don't think you'll need chains or anything but it might be fun to at least get a light dusting of snow I'll send it back to you Ginger, thank you. We're following breaking news. Firefighters on the scene of a commercial structure fire in the city of Covina. It's off East San Bernardino Road near Vis Vincent Avenue. L.A. County Fire Department responded before 3 this morning. When they got to the scene, they found heavy smoke and fire showing from the roof. There were no reports of injuries and no word on how it started. And new this morning, LAPD investigating an alleged incident involving students in a restroom at Hamilton High School. LAUSD activated its crisis team so students can speak with counselors about exactly what happened. KTLA 5's Carlos Herrera live in West LA with the latest developments. And Carlos, what did happen? Yeah, Chris, Megan, good morning. It is important for you people to know that this is just a sexual assault allegation at this time that is now under investigation. This as a school now beefing up security and security um, services, also counseling services for students, uh, teachers and staff here at Hamilton High School. Uh, of course, this is really troubling for everyone uh, involved. This as a school, again, actively getting involved in all of this and, of course, a horrific incident. Now, take a look at your screen now so we can... Uh, tell you what exactly happened. Now, the LAPD and the LAUSD have both confirmed that they are investigating uh, an incident that happened last week, quote, potentially involving several students in the boys' restroom. LAUSD.